Managers of Reddit. Who is the dumbest employee you've had and after how long did you fire him or her? Wasn't capable of firing anyone, but I did contract work that occasionally involved training new hires. Light construction was involved, as well as the usage of basic tools like mallets, screwdrivers, tape measures, etc. Had a guy come in for his first day on a site in Florida. Started showing him and a few others the ropes, and after about an hour, let them at it. Everyone was doing fine and then I notice he's just setting things up without measuring first. I remind him I have several tape measures and a yardstick if he needs it. Turns out he couldn't read a ruler and didn't think that would be a problem in construction. It's just building, right? He did not last the week. Comma he couldn't read a ruler. I'm sorry, what? I have tattoos. She asked me if I wanted to see her kitchen magician Tweety Bird located on her cooter. She made it a few weeks because that's not the grossest thing to happen in that restaurant. I tot I tava puddy. Not a manager but was once a crappy employee in my younger days. Stayed up all night partying. Got a couple hours of sleep. I woke up and knew there was no way I could go to work. I was basically delirious when I called and I didn't even think about what I was gonna say. The manager answers and all I can think of is, hey I was on my way to work and I almost crapped my pants so I had to turn around. Calling in with intestinal distress is always a good one. Had a guy who was a bit soft in the brain. I can't recall too much was this was 15 plus years ago but I know he was a constant cause of problems for me and my staff. If I asked him to wipe a table. This was in a restaurant with outdoor but covered seating. He'd grab a dry rag and just smear things around the table. If I asked him to run a register I had to stay with him or have a leg stay with him as our rather small selection of items on a clearly labeled keyboard was too much. The funniest thing was when he'd brag about his girlfriend. He had a very obviously source picture he'd show us of a woman out of almost anyone's league. The best part was when he proudly told us she'd have sex with him if he paid her. Sounds like that 4chan guy. Guy stole lottery tickets but his way of doing it was exposing the barcode at the terminal scans to see if it's a winner. If it wasn't a winner he put it back. If it was a winner, he cashed it out and filed it away with his paperwork. Now it sounds kind of clever but we do lottery counts every morning, not to mention the fact that people who buy lottery would immediately notice if the barcode was already exposed. When I saw this, I immediately checked the camera and saw him from multiple angles doing this. He then also threw the winners in the trash after he cashed them and left the trash under the can overnight. Called the cops, they had all the evidence they needed, arrested him and I guess some poor soul took pity and posted his bail. He then texts me to tell me he quit. I told him it's hard to quit a job when you were officially fired while sitting in a holding cell. He was there for two weeks. Moral of the story. Don't be a freaking idiot. Please tell me this was in Florida. I think I know this idiot. Couple comes up to the register with two large bottles of liquor. Cashier puts the bottles in a bag hands it to them and sends them out. He did not ring it up or take any money. I saw it on the security camera. Me. Why did you do that? Him. Because they are black. Me. What? Him. Black people are poor. They shouldn't be paying for booze. Equipment led in a manufacturing environment. My team did maintenance on the machinery. I had a guy who would come in and immediately hop on Craigslist. While everyone else was checking their emails and preparing for the shift this guy would online shopping. He literally spent hours every shift paging through Craigslist. If he wasn't doing that he was watching YouTube videos that either consisted of strongman competitions or attractive women working out. I repeatedly caught him lying about work he never did. He talked trash about every other employee and would frequently get into screaming matches with his wife over the phone. He screamed at me when I told him he couldn't spend 4 to 8 hours of a 12 hour shift on break. When I'd try to correct his behavior the typical response was either I don't give a crap or what the frick are you going to do about it he even went to my boss to complain when I gave him a poor annual review. Unfortunately, despite a mountain of documentation and repeated requests, I was not allowed to fire him because the company was so short handed. Since he wasn't doing any work it didn't really make any sense to me. When I finally quit he had been there for almost 5 years and hadn't received a single raise promotion, or bonus. To this day he blames it all on me. I'm an industrial maintenance tech. 
I've been employed at five different facilities and have yet worked with a crew that is not like this guy. I had an employee who appeared to have limited capacity for information. She would unlearn things she'd been doing for a while if she learned something new. She would also get very mixed up about things, thinking the addition of one new policy completely negated an unrelated policy. So let's say we created a policy against mentioning your workplace on your social media accounts. She'd start taking longer breaks and say something like but we changed our policies so that one doesn't matter anymore. Her work tasks were like that too. She'd ask how to do something again that she'd been doing for months without trouble after being taught a new skill. I got the notice from the folks above me that she had to go, but they said I needed to put some work into it first to make sure she had no ground to stand on for a lawsuit of any sort. So I had to go through and document every stupid thing she'd ever done. Every email that showed she didn't quite understand things enough to do her job properly. Every time she took an extra long break or didn't show up to work on time. I had to document every complaint from every other employee. Every tiny mistake I had to correct along the way, it was exhausting. When I was finished and had all her crap laid out in a 3 page document, it was obvious that she needed to go and I couldn't believe we didn't let her go sooner. So she's kind of like a Pokemon. Can't learn more than 4 moves at a time. 3 days. They made a racist slur towards a couple. Fired them on the spot. The defense they had. I didn't say that out loud. You have no proof. Then after showing them that proof. They said I have 2 raters. They couldn't provide any evidence. I have a friend who has 2 raters. They have a card and medical proof. Oh my god do I have a story for you. I work at an ice cream shop and we get scam calls all the time. I have alerted all of my employees of this before, and they all know to be vigilant in any situation when a scam is apparent. One night, a couple months ago, around 9pm, one of our shift leads gets a call from a man saying he works for the corporate office. The man on the phone says he's doing a private investigation on our franchise because we are under by $1000 in our weekly cash deposits which BTW corporate offices have no way of seeing transaction histories for franchise private bank accounts. He told her she can tell anybody that she know about this underage, because the general manager is under investigation too, and if she ruins the investigation then she is committing a federal offense and would be sent to jail for at least 5 years. He told her that he needed her to go to the safe, count all the money, take all of it to her local CVS, and put it on a Visa gift card. He told her that she needs to recite to him the gift card number over the phone, and then go behind the CVS, rip up the gift card, and throw it in the dumpster. He told her that once she does this, they will be coming to the store the next morning to arrest our general manager. This is why she can't say anything. So this girl goes out around 10pm, drives an hour to her CVS on the other side of town. Loads more than $800 onto a Visa gift card and then recites the Visa card number over the phone, and then chucks the card into the dumpster behind the CVS. When she gets back, I am there with the police because I found out through another shift leader that this was happening, and after explaining to her that she was being scammed and the money she took did not in fact go to the corporate office, she says to the police officers, it's okay, they are coming here tomorrow to arrest GM's name, so you guys can arrest them then. The police officers could not stop laughing. She was not fired, but her and one other employee are expected to pay back all of the money. Caught a guy smoking M. He tried to hide it as fast as possible. He claimed we were seeing things and he wasn't doing anything. Escorted him out of building right there in that moment. Not a manager but had an incredibly dumb co-worker freak out and quit on day 2. I'm we are tree planters. We plant trees in the woods. Pretty self-explanatory. You'd think people would expect to get dirty and wet when they live and work outside for several months in a row. This lad did not get the memo apparently. So we walked into the block, about 3 kilometers through swamp muddy logging roads. And it's been raining heavily since yesterday. This lad had a small swamp depression on his piece with some water in it. Categorically refused to get his feet wet. His foreman, boss, who is my buddy, comes by and asks. Why are there no trees in your swamp? Do you need help? No, but I don't want to get my feet wet. Complete confusions on the foreman's face. Comma this is what we do. We're tree planters. 
Now please plant your swamp. Dude flips out on his foreman, who is a really nice and very hard working guy, throws his shovel, and while the foreman is trying to de-escalate the situation, this absolute unit walks off his piece, walks 3 km's back to the main road through the swamp, hitchhikes back to camp, gathers his tent, and leaves. Blue of air owns mind. Day 2 man. Apparently it's a toughie. That sounds like incredibly satisfying work. You are literally opposite lumberjacks. Had a guy who would call out to work with the excuse I'm just not really feeling it today. I wanted to tell him to just say that he was sick or just not give any reason. Anything would have been better. Took forever to fire him because of corporate attendance policies. Sent out a new contractor hire to install a 24x36 shelf. Simple. Put the shelf into the shelf hole. He brought it back because it was too small and he needed a 36x24 shelf cut so it would fit properly. If someone had a problem like this I would sort to help them, but I would use cryptic clues. So for this one, I would say think differently to turn your world around or something like that. Teacher, not a manager, but I watch my fellow teacher sit and do nothing while her students run amok, and then she can't figure out why my scores are better. Classroom management. Had an employee who disappeared for over 2 hours. She worked in the kitchen, where we have a no bag policy, and lo and behold, she left her purse. I removed it and brought it to my office where she could return it later. A foul, chemical smell was coming from her bag that prompted me to search it, upon which I found, stolen checks, stolen credit cards, pills in a baggie, about a gram of M, and, the source of the smell, an aluminum foil wrapper containing sherm. Her scumbag sixth sense must have been tingling because within a few minutes she comes to the office looking for her bag, sees her contraband, freaks out and tries attacking me to get her stuff back. I had to take her to the ground and hold her until the cops arrived. Turns out she was on parole. Real class act. He would ask both male and female co-workers super inappropriate sexual questions. He asked one woman if her and her fiancé had tried anal, as it would spice up their sex life if they hadn't. He would ask everyone all kinds of other weird crap, like Deuce Bigelow type crap, weird names and all. He'd explain it and expect real answers. He asked our very Christian, very overweight, very much older than most of us seafood manager if she liked rim jobs. She didn't know what he was talking about and asked someone else for an explanation. Fun conversation I'm sure. Where I worked we couldn't fire him. It had to go through store level management, not department level. And they had to have two verbals and three written including periods of suspension. So it took way too long to get rid of him. Either that dude was legitimately stupid or he was an immature edgelord looking for a laugh and attention, but which also falls under stupid. A developer that was assigned to my QA team, he had already been shuffled through 3 or 4 actual dev teams, which is a bad sign. After the fact my director let me know that he had been sent to mine on the off chance that he had been clashing with other devs and wasn't just incapable of working. If you assigned him a task, He'd work on it, but only until he encountered anything that could possibly be interpreted as a blocker. Then he'd surf the internet until someone came by to remove the blocker. He wouldn't ask anyone to help. He wouldn't seek solutions himself. He wouldn't do anything about it. So most times, he could manufacture something to free up his time within half an hour of starting anything. Like, I don't have access to the right repo. I'd swing by a day or two later, and he hadn't asked for access to the repository. He'd just be idle. After a month or so of progressively shortening intervals between checking in with him to see what the newest roadblock was, I was having to chat with him four times a day, chatted with my boss about it, and we agreed that he should seek greener pastures. Also, he wore toe shoes, with no socks, that he never, ever washed. Toe shoes, therefore toes, and for twats. Floor manager at a tribal casino. Have an employee who is almost full blood of said tribe. Worked for over 2 years. Knows 20-30% of job duties well. Basically untouchable. Can confirm. Source. Used to work at a tribal casino. Hard to fire full blood tribal members. I had an employee for months. Who would help around the dining area. Take orders. And help out with restock. Although he was a nice boy. He was very dumb. 
unable to focus, and a religious radical, also a very racist white male, come to find out. Let's call him Alex. We train our employees for two full weeks and then we let them do it all on their own, while watching them, of course. Anyway, Alex couldn't remember how to write down a bacon egg and cheese taco. Beck. I told him B for bacon, E for egg, and C for cheese. He wrote tech and proceeded to say but T is for Tocino because it's Spanish for bacon and we have Mexicans on the grill, right? How will they know I said our employees all speak, read and write in both languages. Also, why would you not write H for eggs and Q for cheese, if you were writing in Spanish? Well I thought they'd know that kind of English. Literally the next day, a woman, a regular, BTW, comes in with her two children to pick up her order. Alex comes up and checks her out and gives her the order. He asks your children are adorable. How old are they they carry on a conversation for a few minutes and he goes well what about daddy? Just sent you on a mission to get the food hush he responds with their father isn't in the picture. He presses. Oh. I'm sorry. Divorce is the devil. Actually. He was never in the picture. It was a one night stand and when I contacted him. He never responded. I don't know where he is or if he's even alive. Honestly. The face he made when she said that. I can't even describe it. Do you know how terrible that is yet? Yeah. He never do you know what will happen to you and your children? Do you know you won't be let into heaven? You would do something so awful to your children? It's bad enough they are basically mutts. But now you've taken away their chance to God's palace? The owner stepped in right before I could. Safe to say that he was fired that very day. He tried to sue him. But the owner was smarter than him. I have never had anyone say something so ugly to a customer. It was horrible. Some of my favorite games were developed by THQ. But now, whenever I think of them, I will smile and remember the Spanish acronym for bacon, egg and cheese. She just didn't work. She would call out constantly. Then after we told her if she called out one more time without being able to give us medical paperwork, she started showing up late and would whine about how late she had to say. She was either the first or second earliest scheduled to get out. But when anyone confronted her, she couldn't understand why we were so annoyed with her. And then it was extremely annoying just working with her. I had to look over every order because she got maybe every one stroke 10 orders correct. Always forgot what she was supposed to do cleaning wise. I'd constantly find her sitting in the back. Then get annoyed when I would tell her to get her butt back up front. She worked for about 2 months just because we needed another person before we could fire her. The UD fired her regardless because she called out one morning and blatantly said I just don't want to work. Then got upset that she was so wrongly fired because she did nothing wrong. I freaking hate pampered rich teens. This just happened last week actually. Kid gets hired. Train him. He starts the position. Second day of work. Comes in reeking like weed. He gets talked to about it, so sorry, won't happen again he puts on cologne to mask it. But then every day after that, he reeks like the cologne, obviously trying to cover up the weed smell. And this kid looked out of it most of the time. He wouldn't follow directions ever, would just say he'd do it and then go back to doing nothing. Then about 2 weeks in, a co-worker sees him coming out of the bathroom with a smoke trail behind him. I walked by him and he reeked of weed again. So another conversation with this kid, he admits to smoking before work. We then report that to HRBC it violates our drug and alcohol policy. They call him and he admits to them he was high on the job. He then signs the transcript of the call with HR, saying it's all true. We are then advised to fire him and we do. He says okay, leaves. Wife calls less than an hour later screaming that we fired him BC he's Muslim. We would have no idea of his religion unless he voluntarily gave us that info. But he never told anyone he was Muslim. But it didn't matter to the wife. We fired him. It must be BC of his religion. Not that he did anything wrong. We actually have another employee who is Muslim as well and he is a valued member of our team. TL. DR. Kid gets fired for being high on the job. Wife claims we fired him for being Muslim. Kid wife Muslim. Uh oh. Area manager here. Had an employee who complained about how a dispatcher spoke to him. I told him not to take it personally. Because that dispatcher talks like that to everyone. Take it with a grain of salt. Etc. This employee's response was. Well. I'm sensitive. 
same employee often tried to leave work early, and then cop an attitude when he was told no. He would also pass orders to other employees, just so he could get out early. By this time, my boss and I were wondering how much longer the employee would be with us. Eventually, the employee calls me to basically throw a tantrum, exclaim how the job is unfair, and be nothing but rude and condescending towards me. So I finally ask him, so what do you want to do then? Him, I'm ready to quit. Me, K, if that's how you feel, you also need to let, boss, no, him, oh I will, to the context of I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. After he hung up, I immediately removed him from the schedule. Side note, this guy is in his late 30s. Kevin, what an idiot. He quit because he didn't get a day off that he wanted and if he didn't he would have been fired. After he quit I found out from a neighboring business that he routinely shut the store down and would go to a Barnes and Noble to read and eat before returning and closing later on. Hate that kid. Had a server walk past me in the kitchen looking for the spice rack while precariously carrying a full cup of coffee on a saucer. I asked him what he needed he and he replied that he had a customer who wanted bay leaves in his coffee. Kid had been a server for a while and was a constant pain. So I pointed out the bay leaves for him and sent him on his way. I did a table check at where the coffee was headed about 2 minutes later. Stopped by the bar and had the bartender pour a coffee and bay leaves first though. The customer was still laughing his butt off by the time I made it over. We had a guy in a restaurant I managed that scratched his butt in front of the health inspector. Needless to say that was his last day. I was an assistant supervisor on a construction site. There is a strict no smoking policy. I caught a guy with a cigarette talking to another guy and to keep me from seeing it. He shoves the lit cigarette down his trousers because I can't legally ask him to drop his pants. He went home an hour later limping. That's just precious. D. The employee that put a customer on hold and talked to her boyfriend. Also an employee. About taking and selling prescription pills and C. Unfortunately for them. She didn't actually put the customer on hold. She merely put her hand over the handset to mute it. And the customer that called happened to be a really good friend of the owner. So I think we fired her at week's end. Like two days later. And the BF we gave another shot but he was then caught selling pills outside the building. I decided to fire him at end of shift. Had an employee we called Big Bird because he was huge and wore yellow coveralls. It was getting close to the end of the job and people knew layoffs were coming. Construction. So another supervisor and I were doing a walkthrough of the site and we had been wondering where Big Bird was hiding. We looked over and saw him standing at the back of a work truck. The other supervisor was p that he wasn't in his work area and wanted to m march over and reprimand him. I said wait, while we observe the biggest of birds in his natural environment. Big birds proceed to open a vice on the back of the truck then close it repeatedly for around 5 minutes just to look busy. After the last close of the vice he looked over to see us two supervisors staring at him in black shades and hard hats. He proceeded to look startled and then walked around the far side of the truck's toolboxes to hide and pretend to look for tools. My other supervisor was going nuts at this point and I was like just chill this is the best part. Big Bird then peekabooed around the side of the toolbox and saw we were still watching him. His shoulder slumped. He knew it was the end. Finally we walked over and I asked Big Bird if today was his last day and he said I guess it looks like it. I told he catch you on the next one and he sauntered into the sunset. He was a drug dealer, but he wasn't subtle about it. He would have people come into the restaurant and do deals sitting at a table all while there were other customers in the dining room. I don't care what you do in your spare time. But I didn't want to be complicit in his activities by just turning a blind eye to it. Fortunately I didn't have to deal with him. The general manager pulled up to the store one afternoon and saw him handing someone a bag of shrooms in the parking lot. Considering strike 1 was the day he showed up to work on LSD, the GM went ahead and just made the strikes 2 and 3. Wasn't capable of firing them, but I'm a manager. We've had a few crazy freaking employees. One person was the laziest person I've ever met. She literally wouldn't do anything. We keep a very clean restaurant and I always strive for 100% on our inspections. This girl, who I'll just call A, worked two jobs. One at my restaurant and one at a McDonald's. 
The McDonald's she worked at didn't seem to have any sort of health standard because she would constantly violate health codes because she felt like it and would be extremely mad when I told her she couldn't. For example, putting personal food drink in the produce cooler and spraying chemicals near the food. When I closed with her, I asked her to do the easiest thing in the whole store before she left. Restock fortune cookies. All you have to do is pour them into a box. The box weighs less than a pound. And you know what she told me? I don't know who you close with but we don't do that. B I've literally been working here for 2 years. I'm your supervisor. I know what we have to do. Then there's this other guy that we still have on one day a week. I'll call him B. B is the slowest person I've ever met. And because he's slow, he often forgets things. Like, I'll ask him to clean and stick the bathrooms and he'll go in, clean one thing. Come out and stand there looking brain dead for 5 minutes and say he's done. But he did 1 out of 7 things he had to do. He was so slow doing that one thing that he completely forgot everything else. And he does this multiple times. I have to close safe and log cash deposits every night and one night it took me 30 minutes because the money was disorganized and I had to find where it belonged. Guess what this guy got done in 30 minutes time? One thing. He took the drink nozzles out of the soda machine and put them in sanitizer water. That's all he did. And, after 10 times of telling him to go back in the bathroom and finish cleaning stocking he still forgot to stock the place up. Like what was he doing that whole time? If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.